Hello, my name is Dr. Van Vuchts. I'm a colorectal surgeon at the City Hospital of Assen in the Netherlands. You've been referred because of symptomatic gallstones, which require operative removal of the gallbladder, and I would like to explain this procedure. Here in red, you can see the gallbladder situated in the right upper part of the abdomen, just under the liver. Bile is formed in the liver and is needed for the absorption and digestion of fat, and it is temporarily stored in the gallbladder. Here are some stones. And when food reaches the stomach, bile is distributed to the small intestine. And when a gallstone gets stuck in the cystic duct, this can cause sudden and severe pain associated with nausea, a so-called biliary colic. When a gallstone gets stuck further down the biliary tract, it can cause an obstruction, and this may lead to yondis or particolored stools and pain. And we then involve the gastroenterologist to extract the stone causing the obstruction. A cholecystectomy can be performed laparoscopically in more than 95% of all cases. A camera is introduced under the umbilicus through a small incision and three additional incisions are made for the instruments to work with. The gallbladder is dissected from the liver, the cystic duct is clipped and then the gallbladder can be removed by through the incision under the belly button. You can see the biliary outflow from the liver to the small intestine, now without the temporary storage in the gallbladder. Most patients do not notice anything different. Some may experience a change in stool pattern, especially after eating fatty food. Sometimes laparoscopy is not successful because of adhesions or scar tissue after previous operations or because of complications during surgery, like hemorrhage or bleeding. Um, other complications that may occur are, in general, wound infections of one of the small incisions, or more specifically related to this procedure, biliary tract injury. This is a rare complication, less than 1%, but this may cause leakage of bile into the abdominal cavity, causing peritonitis. This can be treated by the gastroenterologist by placing a small tube in the biliary tract, sealing the leak. More serious complications are very rare, but may require operative repair of the biliary tract by a liver surgeon. A laparoscopic cholecystectomy can be performed in daycare. Uh, sometimes overnight admission can be advisable because of age or comorbidity. Uh, after the operation, there are no restrictions. You may eat or drink as desired. Um, and most patients can resume work after one or two weeks. I wish you all the best and good luck with your surgery and recovery afterwards.